everybody. Uh, it's been a while, right? I know. The last video I did was my unboxing of my carbon fiber fender right here and my other carbon fiber fender. And this is the driver's side. For those of you that don't know, I can't tell, this is special carbon fiber front fenders for my Neon SRT4 that have been bubble wrapped and I've never opened them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open them for you guys because these things are sick. I still gotta go ahead and wrap this back up with some saran wrap. In this video, I wanna go ahead and clean up this workshop. I have a mess. How I've been telling you guys I've been slacking, I've been slacking. What I wanna do real quick is give you guys an update in this video on uh, what's going on with the neon, what's going on with me and my new job, and I also gotta go ahead and make one of these boost leak testers. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I clean up this. Stay tuned, enjoy this time lapse, and let me go ahead and clean this pig stock. I have so many nuts and bolts and oh, so much oil on the ground that I gotta go ahead and clean up. I've cleaned a decent amount, don't get me wrong, it, it looks a lot better than it was. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then we'll get into it. Now that I'm done, besides this pile right here, cleared that table, caliber stuff. I still have some stuff, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about it. I need to make a list and literally, put all the parts right on that table right there take a picture and put it on the srt4 owner's page and parts for sale and all that other stuff my next step is to go ahead and make a two inch boost leak tester i already have one so i just gotta slap it together with some gorilla glue and this is a two-part epoxy for those of you guys that are just watching and tuning in and new subscribers and new viewers whatnot i do offer a uh, two inch three inch and four inch usually. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this stock up because of the fact that, oh man, I can't even get into that right now because of the fact that I need to make my boost leak tester and then I'm gonna get into my new job so I can explain to you guys what's gonna happen with this channel, where I'm going, and that's why I was cleaning this up because of the fact that I need to organized downstairs here in my basement. I got so much stuff. I gotta get rid of this sandblaster because I don't want it no more. So I'm probably gonna put that on Marketplace and then this big whiteboard thingy, I just probably put that on the street, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just get into this boost leak tester making thingy. <laughs> Now that the boost leak tester is done, we can go ahead and... What is the next step? We cleaned the basement. We made a boost leak tester. Oh, update on my job. Eight hours later. Hi, babe. Love you. All right, guys. So, I had to clean up and look through my footage and edit a little bit that way I could go to bed early. For those of you that don't know, I'm a sterile processing technician within the operating room. I've been doing it for about 12 years. Roughly 11 years out of the 12 I've wanted to become a traveler. The same job that I do every day, sterilizing surgical instruments and actually travel from hospital to hospital. I work for a company that is contracted by the hospital. So the hospital will reach out to this company, this travel company, or travel companies, and tell them they need recruits, meaning they need techs. Now, every hospital hires travelers to come in and work for three, six, 
12 months, etc. And sometimes they rotate through travelers all year round. With that being said, I took on this job and I started about eight weeks ago and I, I really wish I did it a long, long time ago. But now that I am doing it, I get to travel from state to state, hospital to hospital, etc., etc. So that is one thing that I wanted to do for the past 12 years. Uh, well, 11 and a half. So I'm going to be making my way down to Florida in the next four or five months. <laughs> Right now it's August 17th, so September, October, November, December, probably four more months I'll be up here and then I'll be down in Florida. Currently I work in Methuen, which is about a 40 minute drive from where I live right now. So usually before I go to my hospital that I work for, I go to this place called Heavenly Donuts. Awesome. I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. This is my second coffee in the morning. It's only like two hours after I woke up, but I had to get their donuts. Their donuts are heavenly, you guys. This is a this is a regular donut with glaze. You guys, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Oh. A little longer than a few minutes later. And so with that being said, you guys, I have to go in to work. When I'm done with work, I'll go ahead and give you guys an update on the neon and when it's coming back. So, in three, two. I know you guys are like, where's the car? When's it coming back? What's the hold up with the neon? I've, I've been getting a lot of different questions, to be honest. You know, he told me two weeks and it's been six months plus. It's given me time to, you know, clear my head and give myself some time off. Come on, you guys. I've been spending a lot more time with my Lexi, baby. And give myself a life, sort of, and figure out what I want to do with my career. And like I said early in the video, I changed up my job. So it gives me some time to know what my next step is when it does get dropped off, hopefully in the beginning of September. It's actually going to be going to my buddy Mason's shop. He actually owns a first gen with a built first gen turboed motor. Uh, there's a video. I'll link it in the description below. Yeah, Colt State Park. Um, but anyways, it's gonna be going to his shop in Weymouth, Mass, and then it's gonna be going over to a shop, Fab Matt. I'll leave a link of his Instagram down in the description below. My car has a stage three wire harness and it has gotten brand new wiring from head to toe. And when I say that, I mean from headlights to taillights. I'm pretty pumped about that. Everything on my car has been completely redone, revamped. I won't have any electrical issues. I am, and I'm out here working on my caliber. This is what I've done in the past couple days. Switching out TIPMs and playing with this relay fuse box. The plate that went up behind the dashboard is honestly insane. Insane. I'll give you a clip right here. That's what it looks like, you guys. I really can't wait until it comes back. When it does, hopefully if it's not raining, uh, I'll have it dropped outside of Mason's shop, and then I'll go ahead and give a walk around of my talk, and hope and pray to God, me and my buddy Mason can go ahead and get this neon started. We can't drive it because my charge pipe, I have an ETS pipe with Diaz built tubular manifold with my precision. So when I put my ETS pipe up to the compressor outlet, it doesn't line up well for a boot. So I wanna go ahead and have that mocked up and welded and fit perfectly. The up pipe will also have to be modified. And then after it goes to Fab Matt, I plan on having it go into an auto body shop local to me in Beverly 
and then it can go ahead and go down to Florida and yeah then we can go from there you guys there's a link in the description for my Instagram my Facebook and yeah all that other stuff I don't do uh, Twitter and I don't do well I do snapchat now I apologize you guys that I haven't been making the video content that I used to and I have been um, for the past three years ish damn it's been a long time I gotta get to bed and my baby Lexi wants my attention again you can see her over there she's falling asleep because I'm not giving her attention but I appreciate you guys for staying tuned into my channel until next time guys be easy and stay tuned peace